Welcome to Living English. Today, we join Anne and Steve as they plan what to do on their day at the wildlife park. Later, we'll be looking at two of the smallest and most important words in English, the and a. First though, here's another episode of Sisters and Brothers. In the last episode, Steve arranged to take Anne to a wildlife park. Today, we catch up with them as they enter the wildlife park. Two plates and a bag of food. There you go, and your tickets. Have a nice day. How much do I owe you? Ah, it's OK, it's my treat. Oh, thank you. I'll buy lunch. Is there somewhere to have lunch? Of course. There's a cafe just over there. What do you want to do first? I really want to hold a koala. Is there a koala here? <laughs> yes. It's the most popular animal. We might have to queue, though. I don't mind. What else is there? Are there some kangaroos? Of course, there are lots. I've, and birds. I've heard Australian birds are amazing. Don't worry, you'll get to see lots of birds. What should we do first? Well, the kangaroos are just over there, and I think the birds are next. And next... You'll cuddle a koala? Sure. And after that? After that, I'll buy lunch. It's a deal. Let's start today by looking at how we use the words a and the. We call these words articles. The is the definite article and a and an are indefinite articles. We use them before nouns. Listen. I really want to hold a koala. Anne wants to hold a koala. She's not talking about a definite or particular koala. She just wants to hold any koala. If you say, I want to hold the koala, you mean one that you can see or know about. Try saying, I really want to hold a koala with Anne. I really want to hold a koala. We only use the word a or an with singular nouns, not plural nouns. Koala is singular and the plural is koalas. You can't say, I want to hold a koalas. It's correct to say, I want to hold koalas or I want to hold some koalas. But Anne only wants to hold one koala. So she says, I really want to hold a koala. Is there a koala here? Is there a koala here? Koala is singular. So Anne says, a. Ah. She also says, is there? Now listen to Anne asking about the kangaroos. Are there some kangaroos? Notice that when Anne asks about more than one animal, she says, are there some, instead of, is there a? Listen to both of those clips again. Is there a koala here? Are there some kangaroos? Is and are are both forms of the verb to be. With a singular noun such as koala, we use is. Is there a koala here? With a plural noun such as kangaroos, we use are. Are there some kangaroos? Now listen to how the order of the words change when we're not asking a question. Are there some kangaroos? Of course, there are lots. There are lots is a statement. We use there before is or are in a statement. Listen to another question. Oh, my lunch. Is there somewhere to have lunch? Is there somewhere to have lunch is a question. Listen to what Steve says in reply. Of course, there's a cafe just over there. There's a cafe. There's is short for there is. A cafe is singular. So Steve says is. And because it's not a question, 
he says is after there. There is a cafe. Steve says there's a cafe. If they see it later, Steve can say there's the cafe. It becomes definite. It's the one he talked about before. A is used when you talk about a thing for the first time. I might say to someone, I'm going to a film tonight. They can then ask, what's the film called? When Anne first asked about kangaroos, she used the word some, which is indefinite. Listen again. Are there some kangaroos? Now listen to what happens when Steve talks about them later. Well, the kangaroos are just over there. They become definite, and we use the instead of some, or a. Notice that Steve says the kangaroos are. What do you say if there is only one kangaroo? The kangaroo is over there. Now listen to Steve use the word are with the plural noun birds. And I think the birds are next. And next is Michelle Croden. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Brenton. Hello, everyone. What have you got there? A koala. What's the koala for? I'll show you later. What I want to do today is look at the words we use for the order in which we do things. First, let's have another look at Anne and Steve, planning what to do at the wildlife park. What should we do first? Well, the kangaroos are just over there, and I think the birds are next. And next... You'll cuddle a koala? Sure. And after that? After that, I'll buy you lunch. Now, Brenton, you don't have to buy me lunch, but I do want you to make me a sandwich. OK. Listen carefully. First, I want you to slice two pieces of bread from this loaf. Two. Then I want you to spread butter on them. Mm -hmm. After that, you can put in the filling. Lettuce first. Next, some meat. Mm. Then some sauce. Followed by another piece of lettuce. Finally, close the sandwich and cut it in half. That's all? Yes. Right. Uh, first, slice the bread. Two slices. Very good. Then it's spreading butter. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. After that, it's the filling. Uh, let's see. Um, lettuce first. Okay. Uh, meat next. Sauce after that. What was next? Another piece of lettuce. Ah, that's right. And finally, close the sandwich and cut it in half. There you are. Thank you, Brenton. And next, here's Anne and Steve planning their day again. What should we do first? Well, the kangaroos are just over there, and I think the birds are next. And next... You'll cuddle a koala? Sure. And after that? After that, I'll buy you lunch. So, what words do we use for the order in which we do things? We start with first. And then we can use words such as next, then, after, and followed by. 
Does it matter what order you use them in? No. Except we finish with finally or lastly. Now, you said that you'd show me later what we're going to do with the koala. Yes. I just want you to tell me what it is. It's a koala, of course. Why didn't you call it the koala? Oh, you asked what it is in general. For instance, I'm a man, one of many. The same as he is a koala. Just one example of all koalas. Very good. He's a koala, but what's a koala? A koala is an animal. An animal. We use an before words that start with a vowel sound. The vowel sounds are firstly the short vowel sounds. A, an animal. I, an igloo. E, an egg. O, an ostrich. A, an umbrella. Then the long vowel sounds. A, an alien. E, an eagle. I, an island. And O, an open door. U is a consonant sound. And we say at university and at European. So what's this, Brenton? It's an ant. A big ant. You changed an ant to a big ant. Why? We only use an straight before a word that starts with a vowel sound. Big starts with a consonant, so we say a big ant. Right again. Now it's your turn. This is a kangaroo. This is an egg. And this is a koala. Let's listen to Anne one more time. What else is there? Are there some kangaroos? Yes, here are some kangaroos. And here's the koala. Catch. Oh. <laughs> In our next program, we're going to learn some more about animals like this and how to describe them. See you next time. Here's today's episode of our story once again. Bye. Two please and a bag of food. There you are. And your tickets. Have a nice day. How much do I owe you? Ah, that's OK. It's my treat. Oh, thank you. I'll buy lunch. Is there somewhere to have lunch? Of course. There's a cafe just over there. What do you want to do first? I really want to hold a koala. Is there a koala here? Yes. It's the most popular animal. We might have to queue though. I don't mind. What else is there? Are there some kangaroos? Of course, there are lots. I've, and birds. I've heard Australian birds are amazing. Don't worry, you'll get to see lots of birds. What should we do first? Well, the kangaroos are just over there and I think the birds are next. And next... You'll cuddle a koala? Sure. And after that? After that, I'll buy you lunch. It's a deal.